Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to the Comics Den. My name is Angelo. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am on my way to go look at another comic book collection. This isn't a huge collection, but it's a little over 700 comics, I think he said. We're going to keep this intro nice and short today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We're going to head over there. I'll bring you back once we get there. Brian gave us the A-OK -okay to record inside the house. He's always super cool. Thank you so much, Brian, if you're watching this. But alright, we'll bring you guys back once we get there. Alright, I got everything set up here for you. Wow, everything's all nice set up as usual looks like we got some great hulk so what i'm gonna do usually i go through them on the table but i'm probably just gonna go through them as i put them in the long boxes roadie on war machine some cable x-force deadpool all right let's start going through there's some awesome hulks here lots of old stuff here there's some mignola we do have some mcfarlane covers also great incredible hulk this is going to be great additions oh there's mcfarlane on 345 that's a cool one Eric Larson on 346. Here's some more great, incredible Hulks here. That's an awesome one on 377. Got Santa. Just gonna go through these really quickly. Five issue limited series with the Punisher. There's issue four. This is really awesome stuff right here. So this is a near complete run of Punisher War Journal. Some great covers. Jim Lee. This is some awesome stuff. Figured I'd give everybody a little closer look at some of these great Punisher covers. Punisher War Journal. This is an awesome run. Some Jim Lee artwork on here. Definitely excited to grab a lot of this Marvel. You didn't like DC when you were a kid, huh? Oh, you do? Yeah, I just gotta be getting up. Oh <laughs> yeah, you gotta get there and grab it, huh? Yeah, yeah. He has so much more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easily about 10,000 more. Oh, you got about 10,000 more books? Yeah, yeah. Oh, easy. wow. Well, hopefully you give us a call. We would, we would yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah, easy, yeah. DC value, image. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. this is the Marvel right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't even gotten to the image yet. Or the, or the DC. Oh, you got a lot of like older image? Like almost the entire run of Spawn. Uh, oh wow, like what issues of Spawn? If you don't like, mind me asking. Starting from, like 1 through 30, 1 through 40. Oh, this one even has the card inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the Punisher cards. That's pretty cool. Mike yeah. Mignola. I love how you have like the complete runs too. Yeah, that Punisher was my favorite. Yeah. That was my favorite growing up. I'm glad people are kind of getting back into Punisher. And I love this Netflix series. Yeah, the Netflix series season one and two were great. Same yeah. thing with Charlie Cox, Daredevil. You got yeah. Kingpin right there. Almost complete run, right? Of Warzone? Uh, yeah, it might be like one and two. Yeah, you gotta love those John Romita Jr. covers. We're not gonna take a look at all the covers, but these are some really nice modern Punisher books from the Marvel Knights runs, couple duplicates. These modern covers are great on yeah. War Machine. And then this is the other awesome stack. Look at all these awesome trade paperbacks. You got Punisher and Captain America. We just got the collection in the car. It was a really awesome Marvel Punisher collection with some great X-Force, Deadpool, and some Hulk. Very excited to bring it home. Have to rebag and board everything, but it looks like a great collection. I'm gonna go through it at the house and we'll show you guys a little bit closer of a look. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. We are back. What's going on, everybody? It is a totally different day over here. Showing off a little bit of the new wall. So for everybody that's been on the channel for a while, I'm sure you remember the smaller display wall we had when we first started on Whatnot. Figured I'd show you guys a cool little update on the collection. We have so many key issues and then a lot of other like comic books everywhere. So I figured this would be a cool little ending to the video. But let's get into showing you guys the bulk of the collection because it's gotten pretty big. So this is what the wall is looking like right now give everybody a little closer look of some of my batman collection over here we got a lot of the x-men covers some wolverine i love a lot of these wolverine books i do have two copies of the first dakin so this is just a few of the cool books i figured i would put on display for when we do the whatnot sales some really cool stuff and then over here is all the inventory for the whatnot sales. We got our really nice X-Men box. These are some modern X-Men's and then it goes all the way down. Some great uncanny X-Men's down here to some olders. I have these all nicely organized. Here's my Moon Knight selection. Lots of great Moon Knight books. Some Master of Kung Fu Marvel team up. So I have all of this for the whatnot sales. These are the Punisher books. Some great Punisher. And this is all just some great titles that we have for sale. Every single week we have some great shows. This is Captain America, some older along with the new. Back here we got Daredevil. Here's some Tomb of Dracula, some great Defenders covers, and lots of Doctor Strange. The movie did just come out, so we have been selling 
a decent amount of Doctor Strange. These covers are pretty awesome. And I do have lots of duplicates. Comment down below, what did you guys think of the Doctor Strange movie? Over here is a lot of the DC and the Batman titles. I got some really nice Batman. A huge selection and then over here is a little bit of a, a mess but I got comic boxes everywhere over here and then we have lots of other modern books in here so definitely a fun time over on the whatnot streams between all of this and all of this right here I'd say it's probably about 1300 comics and then over here we have a lot of other comics so much inventory over here over here there's got to be at least a few thousand comics I would say Marvel DC independent Star Wars got some cool first appearances I also found this today this is a pretty cool book first cover appearance of Agent Carter pretty cool here's about another half of the collection right here Lots of comics, as you can see over here, for example, just some Silver Surfer, Iron Man, Swamp Thing, Green Lantern. Over here, we got a lot of Punisher. I just recently got in a nice Punisher collection. You guys saw this from Brian's. This is all really nice stuff that came from Joe's recently. So many cool covers on a lot of these books. Fantastic Four. These are the uh, King in Black issues. Deadpool. Over here, we got Silver Surfer Black. Some Iron Fist, a lot of these Venom covers. And over here, we could see my messy office. We got the Funko Pops up top on that shelf. Lots of comic books everywhere. These are the ones that are listed on the eBay currently. Got lots of boxes everywhere. As you can see, thousands of comic books over here at the Comics Den. Taking me a while to organize everything, but I don't think it's a problem having too much inventory. Still a huge mess over here. Got to get a little better organized. Figure I'd give you guys a quick look inside my material closet here. If anybody was ever wondering how much material you need to sell you know thousands of comics every week this is it <laughs> we're trying to get the room a little cleaned up trying to organize everything there is stuff everywhere give you guys an up close look at some more of these venom books we have also i love these variants a lot of these came from joe's these are those awesome venom covers oh that's a great scotty one right there so these are all gonna be for sale in an upcoming whatnot. Oh, I think that's actually a minor key right there. Yeah, Origin of Null right there, I think. So these were a really nice pickup. All these Venom books, we got Carnage, Carnage USA, King and Black books. I think this is a, a really cool variant cover on King and Black number one. That's the Scotty Young Symbiote Spider-Man. Some great Symbiote Spider-Man. I think there's even, yeah, the Virgin variant. So these are some awesome covers. A lot of these are variant covers. I was very excited to get these in. Some more Scotty, Weapon X, Weapon H. Oh, those are some awesome variant covers. So let's go through one by one really quickly. I'll show everybody the collection. Lots of first appearances you're gonna see. Minor key issues along with some variants. These are all the key issues that I've kind of just been collecting over the past year now. We've almost been doing this a whole year. Thank you to everybody that's been on this journey with us. It's been pretty crazy. We got some awesome Tomb of Dracula, some Iron Man. So what I've been doing is hoarding all of these really nice key issues. We got some really nice older Thor. And one of these days, I plan on doing a really cool sale on Whatnot with a lot of these key issues. Oh, this is a cool variant right here on number one, the Diamond exclusive. We got some McFarlane Hulk, Eric Larson. That's the first uh, Professor Hulk. Really cool book. I'm not going to point out every single key, but these are Comics Den comics. Pretty happy about this collection, I would say. That's a great McFarlane cover. More Amazing Spider-Man, Spawn, some great Amazing Spider-Man, Grim Hunt, another McFarlane cover, Variants. This one is signed by Perillo on the bottom, that's pretty cool. Some more Amazing Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Oh, that's great, from the uh, Craven's Last Hunt storyline. Web of Spider-Man. And right, now we're gonna come on to the other box. Not all of these comics are rebagged and boarded. These are pretty cool. I found these in that collection we got a while ago, these Dynamic Forces. All of these are really cool, like Dynamic Forces books. God of War, The Mummy, Something's Killing the Children. Lots of Something's Killing the Children. Some really nice variant covers. That's a 1 in 100, I believe, on Berserker. Some Stray Dogs variants. Another awesome variant cover. And these are some more of those awesome signed Dynamic Forces books. All these have like signatures on them. So that's John Romita Jr. signed with the COA, pretty cool. 
And then here's the plat issues, some Moon Knight. Yeah, these are the awesome Moon Knight number ones. I got a couple duplicates of these plat issues also. So these are really great finds. And then a whole Moon Knight run here. So I have the entire run of Moon Knight complete all the way through to issue one. And then the Totally Awesome Hulk, the entire run I have here. And I do have number one of Totally Awesome Hulk. If you look up there, I have the Moon Knight number one and the spotlight, I think that's 29. I do have the other one, his first solo story at CGC currently. All right, now we're gonna come over here. This is that awesome first appearance of darkness, but that is the uh, gold foil variant. Harder to find books, Spawn, lots of first appearances and some cool books. Spider-Man, Deadpool, Black Knight, number one, cool silk cover. That's another silk cover. Marvel Age, that's a classic cover with Silver Surfer. Gambit, Excalibur one, New Mutants one, Alpha Flight one. This is, I think this is the first meeting between the two Novas. The really nice Carnage variants in here. Some amazing Spider-Man, Uncanny X-Men, Defenders. This one's pretty cool. This one has like four signatures on it. I'm not sure if he signed it, but really cool book. We got some nice variant covers. Another awesome variant cover on Astonishing X-Men. That right there, this is a, a minor little key. This is the first time the Submariner fights Wakanda, I'm pretty sure. So we might see this in the new Black Panther movie. This is the first time Shang-Chi joins the Avengers team. Got some early Avengers. And I got a whole bunch of these. I remember when the Loki show came out, everybody was looking for these Alex Ross variants covers some fantastic four captain america so these are awesome really really awesome stuff some of the hip-hop variants punisher these are really cool so that's the first barracuda lenticular cover on 218 that's the first i believe angela in marvel comic in the poly bag godzilla that's the first time godzilla fights the avengers infinite crisis this is a really cool variant on fantastic four and i have the other one to go with it secret avengers first agent venom we got some awesome venom covers here some really nice variants. So I won't go through this entire box and it's not all organized. I have some Dragon Ball Z in here. These are some of my favorites. And then my Daredevil collection. So this whole entire box is full of Daredevil comics, all kinds of different issues. I won't go through everything with everybody. I got two issues of number nine. I love Daredevil, he's one of my favorites. So these are all some great Daredevil covers. Comment down below, what's your favorite collection you've seen so far? We've picked up a lot of them. Here's some of the magazine style books we have, some Vampirella and a lot of uh, Last Ronin and some other thicker books. And then over here are some of my favorites. I love these older books. These are some Golden Key and Dell, some nice 10 cent comics. A lot of these are older, Silver Age. There is some older Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, I got Daffy. Tom and Jerry. These are really cool. Sarah enjoys these a lot. So that's gonna wrap up this awesome little vlog style video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different. Megacon is coming up pretty soon, so we're looking forward to that. I hope you guys are excited for all the content we're gonna be unloading with Megacon. And we are gonna be seeing Joe again this weekend. We might have some content coming out next week on that. Keep an eye out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one, all right? Have a great day. Stay safe out there.